Hello Makeup Void, I'm Trin and welcome or welcome back to my channel. You've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, I am think I'm no longer gonna go by the makeup schizophrenic and so you will probably see that soon my YouTube channel name change and let's go ahead and I'll explain a little bit of what schizoaffective disorder is and schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. <laughs> And then I will go into the reasons why I just, I think I'm done and I think I'm ready to say goodbye to the makeup schizophrenic. So let's go ahead and get rolling. So if you are new here, hello. I've been going by the makeup schizophrenic on YouTube for about three-ish years. And I have really delved into the persona of embracing the fact that I have schizoaffective disorder and spreading awareness about mental health. It has been my goal on the internet, like if you've been here for a while, every intro I would say it's my goal on the internet to spread awareness about schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder by talking about relatively normal things, largely about makeup. So, but I've stopped talking about it. I've stopped filming videos about schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder and although I call myself the makeup schizophrenic, I technically have schizoaffective disorder which is a combination of schizophrenia and a uh, mood disorder. So for schizoaffective disorder you have the depressive type and the bipolar subtype. I am the bipolar subtype and generally what you think about schizophrenia, it's all sort of like hallucinations and hallucinations can be any of the five senses, delusions, paranoia, struggling with like empathy and sympathy, which is something that I struggle with very often. It, those are forced traits that I have to develop and have to work on, whereas just apathy is my home base. And then bipolar disorder is manic highs and lows that last for weeks or months at a time. They're not just like, oh, I'm feeling really happy one day and really depressed the next. No, it's like for long periods of time. And so schizoaffective disorder is sort of the blend of those two disorders. I call myself the makeup schizophrenic because it's not as catchy as the makeup schizoaffective. Most people have at least a general idea of what schizophrenia is. And most people don't know what schizoaffective disorder is, so it's just sort of a catchier title in terms of naming my channel. But over the past however long, I don't know, I've been calling myself Trin or Trinity. My Instagram handle is TrinityMay9391. I sometimes post a lot, I sometimes post nothing. It's very inconsistent on my Instagram, but normally I just take I take pictures of my makeup looks every single day and I'll upload them and throw up a stupid caption or like do swatches of new eyeshadow palettes that I have. So um, the reason why my YouTube channel is going to change and has changed is the fact that I just don't want to talk about my disorder anymore. I have plenty of content on my channel talking about schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder. One of my top viewed videos is six myths about schizophrenia and like the largest, the largest myth is that schizophrenics are violent and very aggressive people whereas research shows that schizophrenics and schizoaffective people are actually more likely to be victims of abuse than like be the perpetrators of them. So that's the summary of the six minutes about schizophrenia video right there is the violence part. But I have, I used to like once a month sit down and film a mental health get ready with me talk like using it as a time to talk about how my mental health has been going and just a reminder for you to check in on your mental health and how it's been going for you. And I've stopped doing those videos and the biggest reason why I stopped doing those videos is that my daily emotions is tied to my job. I have been struggling so much in my job. If you don't know, I work for a mental health care facility and it is very intense. Since our new location has opened, the we just keep getting busier and busier, which is a good thing because we're reaching a larger population. More people are recognizing that they need help and they're coming to us for help, which is great, but it's just very mentally taxing. I am the face that you see when you walk in. 
I am the paperwork girl, as I call myself. And it is, it's so draining. My only big coping mechanism to deal with work is just as I leave to completely disassociate and forget everything that happened at work. Like I will get home and my husband will be like, how was work? And I was just like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think about it. It was busy. It was crazy. I, I just want to disassociate from it. And it's hard for me now to sit down and do mental health get readies with me talking about my mental health while also not going into details about my job. I have tried filming mental health get ready with me in the past couple months and I either cut out literally 50% of the video because I don't want to share too much details. Like the amount that I've shared in this video is probably too much. I will probably regret saying the amount that I've done. But that just sort of is to give context about what I've been going through. Now, my last resort has been getting back into yoga. Two years ago, I uploaded a video saying, or uploaded a video about talking about the mental health benefits to yoga. And I stand by that video. It didn't do so well, which I totally get, but it was just, I was so enamored and so in love with yoga and I was yoga obsessed. I didn't do any sort of makeup for six months because I prioritized yoga over makeup. And then my family wanted to do family pictures. So I was like, oh shit, I got to get back into doing my makeup. Let's see if I still got it. And I did. And I sort of just said goodbye to yoga and I focused, refocused on makeup again. But I, I'm kind of at this point with my mental health that it's like do or die. Like I have to do yoga. I have to retrain my brain. I have to relearn all of those mental health benefits, all, like remind myself of all of those things. I have to recalibrate my brain again into a more mindful practice of doing yoga in order to save my job. Like, and, and what I mean in order to save my job, I mean so I don't rage quit. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing the past week, week and a half, is getting back into yoga. If you care, I almost exclusively watch Yoga by Adrian. When I mention yoga at work, people are like, oh, who do you watch? And I'm like, Yoga by Adrian. And they're like, oh my gosh, I love her. And I'm like, yeah, because she's amazing. Yoga by Adrian is amazing. <laughs> she is like my favorite yoga YouTuber. So if you want to get into yoga, I would definitely recommend that. Every year she does a 30-day yoga challenge where she felt it all has like every day has a theme. The whole series has a theme and it's just so nice. It is just so nice every morning to like sit down and do yoga with Adrian. And so that's what I've been doing to encourage my mental health. I've also been in therapy for 10 months or so, which has been so incredibly beneficial. I am very fortunate that my health benefits at my job cover therapy 100%. So I am very fortunate. I understand I'm at a place of privilege to where my health insurance covers therapy. Most jobs, most health insurances don't cover therapy or they cover a very small amount. My, my job covers therapy 100%. So I'm internally grateful for that, which is another reason why I don't want to rage quit my job because if I go to another job, the benefits probably aren't going to be as well. <laughs> probably not going to be as good. So um, so my YouTube channel content isn't really going to change because it's already changed so much over the past few months. Not talking about mental health. I'm not going to be talking about schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder. I'm probably going to change my YouTube handle to Trinity May. And we will just sort of leave it at that. If you are new to my channel, if the name Makeup, Makeup Schizophrenic was drawn to you, really took hold of your curiosity, I'm sorry. I just feel like I need to do this. I feel like I need to move on from the Makeup Schizophrenic. I feel like I need to set the boundaries between life and makeup and stuff. And I, I mean, I do my makeup literally every single day. There's been a few days that I skip, but that's rare and far few in between. So, because I love makeup and I use makeup as an escape. I use makeup as a way to prep my day. I feel my best when I do a really good makeup look. 
and it sets a precedence and it does boost my ego when people compliment my makeup at work. Does it happen every day? No, but occasionally I'll get a sweet comment. I'm like, thank you. It was either, and, and most days when I get compliments on my makeup is when I put like zero effort into it. So Deadpool says maximum effort, Trin says minimum effort when it comes to makeup. So, except today I put in a lot of work because I'm no pan left behind. A lot of videos on my channel are projects. I love doing project pans or project pan sort of styles. I recently started No Pan Left Behind. The July update blew up, which was very confusing to me, but thank you. Uh, I don't know why that video blew up the way it did, but I appreciate it, so thank you so much. But I am also on a low buy that I've sort of given the middle finger to in the past few months. I love doing projects. I love doing wear tests. I love doing reviewing eyeshadow palettes. My eyeshadow palette video reviews are always so incredibly long. I think this video is going up before my Ensley Rain Flutter and Flourish palette video go live, but that video is over an hour long because I can't stop talking and it takes me forever to do like five eyeshadow looks. So if you watch through all that video, thank you so much. But this was just a short, sweet, to the point video about why I am just no longer probably going to call myself the makeup schizophrenic. So I want to thank y'all so much for watching today's video. Give it a like. If you are new, hello. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you stick around and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I hope you find joy. I find joy doing my makeup. I find joy filming YouTube videos. I find joy in this like little minute space of just escapism. And I hope that you stick around for the ride. Have joy.